Hi there. If you've come across this video, chances are you have a DeWalt planer uh, and you struggle with dust, dust collection as I have. And I've come across a solution I'd like to pass on and to show you a little bit about it today. So here is, I'm in a uh, one car garage open bay here. Uh, you can see outside, I'm in Phoenix, Arizona and we have rain. So we're taking video to actually prove that we do have rain in Phoenix, uh, but that's not the point of this video today. So my DeWalt planer, this entire system lives in this little bay uh, that I'll show you a little bit later, uh, but here is the system. So I'll pull it out and this is what we're gonna be talking about today. Here's the bag and I'd like to show you how this all works. So stick around. Okay, so here's my DeWalt 735 planer, which I really, really like. Had it for about a year. And while I like most everything about it, what I didn't like was the dust collection. While it has a really good dust, dust ejection, collecting that dust was a struggle for me. I watched a lot of YouTube videos uh, and had my own Frankenstein contraption of hoses and containers and all sorts of things, but none of them really worked well. So I was at my local Rockler store, and Rockler is not a sponsor of this at all. And Martin, shout out to Martin at the Rockler store in Phoenix, uh, he works there, uh, was planing some wood and he had the arrangement you see here. And I watched him for probably about 30 minutes planing wood and it worked really, really well. And I'm hoping that perhaps this might work for some of you as well. Uh, it has very few components. We have five total components and uh, we're going to take a closer look at them in just a minute. Let me give you an overall view of the system. Uh, you can kind of see it here. Very simple. Overall it takes about 30 minutes with the video. Probably can take you about 20 minutes. So let's take a look at some of the components. We have the dust, Rockler Dustrite 30 micron bag. And a couple of advantages about this is that you can see here, we have a clear view window that you can look in and see the level of uh, how full your bag is. On top of that, or on the bottom of that actually, uh, is a nice zipper. So once the bag gets ready to get uh, emptied, you can just open up the bottom uh, zipper and unload it there. We move up, you can see that we have a, a coupler. This is a Rockler dust right coupler. Again, the uh, Rockler is not a sponsor, but the coupling is mounted on the side of the cabinet. Now you notice it's at an angle, and that angle is to make sure that you have a, you know, the fewer bins you have in your dust collection system, the better, and this provides a really good angle. Myself, what I did is here, I made some keyholes so I can just take this whole contraption off, uh, but I'm now wondering why I'm ever going to take it off because it works so well. The bag attaches to the coupling using these uh, uh, thumb, thumb screw, thumb adjustment uh, clamps. And I didn't, uh, I was going to use a standard clamp, but now with this, it's just real easy because you don't need any tools or anything like that to just easily uncouple them. These clamps also have a unique feature in them that you're going to see in the parts uh, detail that uh, really clamp onto the hose. They're designed to work on hoses, so you may want to take a look at these versus using a regular uh, hose clamp. So that's mounted at an angle. You see that we have a four inch clear hose and that clear hose goes up to the port ejection. Uh, you can see here that we have this uh, elbow and the elbow has two clamps. These clamps are both included uh, when you buy them. And the first clamp simply holds the whole assembly to the machine. This second clamp, if you loosen this, this whole elbow swivels up and down to any angle that fits. And as you know, since the ejection is directly over the outfeed table, uh, you need to have it pointing away. And this allows us to position the elbow and tighten it up into the position you see well out of the way of uh, the wood coming out. This is mounted on uh, the side, this side, uh, which leaves the other side completely uh, accessible. So this makes it real nice and easy, doesn't uh, interfere with any operations. 
One other feature of this that I really like, as you saw in the very first beginning video, I have a very small shop on this. What I like about this is that I can take this bag and when I'm done, I can just tuck it in, tuck it into the bottom of this and it rolls just fine. Uh, it makes a very compact uh, arrangement so that it rolls easily uh, in that. So hopefully this, uh, we're gonna take a look at the parts now so you can get some detail of the parts. Again, there's a final view of how it looks, very simple to install. Uh, if you have some spare parts around the shop, may be able to do this without any investment. All right, so let's take a look at the detail of the parts. Okay, so here are the parts. Uh, again, there's only four parts. And you can see here that we have a four inch clear hose, dust right hose. You can see that we have the four inch keyed bridge hose clamps. Again, these are the ones that are designed specifically to work with hoses. You can see that they have this little bridge across it that wraps around and that little hump there fits right over the wire. So it actually seals them up real nice. So you get a bag of those. Here is the collection bag. Again, this is a 30 micron dust. If you have a higher requirement, they do make a one micron uh, dust bag. Uh, I asked uh, Martin and he said this works just fine depending on your shop conditions. If you're enclosed, you may want a one micron one. Uh, if you're, I'm in an open one bay garage and uh, it seems to work just fine. Last part you need there, you can see is a quick change four inch elbow tool port and you can see a picture of it right there. That's part of the hose. Uh, the only thing you need, you're buying 10 feet of hose. So if you have four inch hose laying around, uh, that would be reduce that cost because uh, to be honest with you, this is as much hose as you need. Uh, probably about a three foot section of hose is all you need to put this together. see that the collection uh, it's quite good uh, I didn't see any dust coming out the seals are nice and tight and everything and so if your bag isn't full I could just tuck it in be done with it and now I can just roll the device away until it's a little home so anyway I hope that helps uh, some of your DeWalt 735 734 dust collection